Welcome to the IT Shed. Today we're going to look at CS50 Python's problem set 2 vanity blades. Now this one's quite interesting. Um, there's a lot in it and it's a tiny bit complicated but as usual we'll just soldier on and see if we can get it done. So this one is um, number plates, Massachusetts number plates. All the plates must start with at least two letters. The plates must contain a maximum of six characters and a minimum of two characters, so between two and six characters. Now this is the interesting part. Numbers cannot be used in the middle of the plate. They must come at the end. So A, 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 2, 2, 2 is okay. But where the 2 is in the middle there, A, 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 2, 2, A, it's not acceptable. Also, the first number cannot be a zero. And then it can only be letters and numbers, so there's no um, space, punctuations, etc. allowed. So they give us the domain that's already in the assignment, that's part of done. We just have to do uh, the function is valid. So we function is defined for us, but we have to fill in the blanks here. So here's a demonstration. So user prompted for the plate and it'll tell you whether it's valid or invalid. So we make our directory plates, we go into it and then we create our plates.py. We'll test it in the end then before submitting it. Okay, that's fair enough. So let's get started. As we can see, our function has already been started for its main so it takes an input from the user assigns it to the variable plate and then our function that we're going to write here is being called and that takes an argument of s which goes into plate so if our statement is true valid is printed to the user and if it's false invalid is printed to the user and obviously main is called down here so first of all we've got to do a uh, to-do list. So we have to ensure that our uh, input is between two and six characters, that it can take all letters but no numbers, it can take a mixture of letters and numbers, the first two characters must be letters, the numbers must come at the end and not in the middle, and the first number cannot be a zero. So let's start here making sure that uh, the input is between two and six characters. For this we're going to use Python's len function which returns a number of items in an object. So in this case string, it'll return how many characters are in that string. It's basically counting the, the characters in the string. So we'll start using an if statement. So if len s is bigger or equal to 2 and len s is smaller or equal to six. So if between two and six, then that will be true. So if that's true, we're gonna move on to the next one. That it takes all letters. So if this is false, it's gonna just go boom, invalid. First off, invalid, it's too big or too small. But if it's true, we move on to a new statement, if statement. And as I said, we're checking to see that it's all letters. And in this case, we're gonna use uh, Python uh, function is alpha. The method returns true if all the characters in the uh, string are letters. So if s dot is alpha, then we're going to return true. Let's check our next input which is a mixture of letters and numbers we're going to use an elf stem, um, an elf statement so lf s is 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 a l num is uh, checking whether it's a mixture of um, letters and numbers it's a built-in function in python again and we'll also get this out of the way first two characters are letters. So and slice the string to check the first two characters. S 
slice zero two, but not including two, dot is alpha. Okay, again, so far, make sure it's the correct size. If it's not correct size, it'll print invalid. If it is the correct size, we'll move on to check, is it all letters? If it is all letters, we're going to end it by returning true and it's going to print valid. If it's not the case, it's going to check whether it's a mixture of letters and numbers. So now we're using LF. The string S is, is a num, which is a mixture of letters and numbers. If that's true, we want to check that the first two characters are letters. So we're using and here. The slice, which is the first two characters, here's the two, but not including two, are letters, is alpha. So, so far, we're going to assume that everything there is true. So if that's the case, we're going to uh, check for numbers. So the numbers must come at the end. But how do we know where they are? We need to first find them in the string. For that, we're going to use a Python function called index. An index will uh, find the particular character you're looking for in the string and tell you where it is within the string. So to do that, we're going to have to first loop over the string. So we're going to use a for loop. So for char in S. So for each character, now this could be I or whatever else you want to call it, but for, for each character in the string S, check is it a digit. So if char is digit. So not of um, inbuilt function to check is it a digit. So if it is a digit, then find the um, location of that character in the string. I'll run over this in a minute. It sounds a bit complicated, but I'll run over with an example in a second just to show you what I'm talking about. So as I said, s dot index uh, index is the inbuilt function, and that takes an input of the character. So we're going to assign that to a variable composition. So let's look at an example of an input. H E L one two three. So for a character in S, for so for this, so this is S. So for character position zero, is it a digit? No. Position one, is it a digit? No. Position two, is it a digit? No. Position three, is it a digit? Yes, it is a digit. And it finds a location of it. So it's position three. So now position three. So if I was to print position, it will come out as it'll just give us the integer three. So we have found where our character is. Now we need to check, is it in the middle? So is there, uh, what, what uh, comes after? Is it letters or numbers? If letters come after it, then it's in the middle and it's invalid. But if more numbers come after it, then it's at the end. Uh, if position, if S position, so if S position, so if string S, and the position was three. Now we're going to use colon to say everything after three, so from three onwards, from four, five, six onwards. Is that a digit? So again, so for S position, which is here, position three, colon says after. So for everything after that, is it a digit? So is the next one a digit? And, which is two, is the next one a digit, it's three, so yes, they are digits. So that's true. So that's that bit done. Now we have to make sure that uh, the digit we found, the first one isn't a zero. So we're going to use an and, so and the character, so see the character isn't a zero, but that's a string, so we need to change it to an int, so int car. is not equal to zero. Then we'll return true. Otherwise, false. 
So let's run over this one more time. So it's between two and six characters. It's this line here, so it's between two and six. If that's true, is it all letters? So if it's is alpha, which is all letters, then that's true. So if it is this, but it's not that, we're going to go to elif statement. Let's see, is it a mixture of letters and numbers using is al num? That's true. So are the first two characters letters? So we slice the first two characters and check is alpha, are they letters? And just for instance, that's true. So, so far, everything is true until here. So now we need to find our digits. We need to find where our digit comes to make sure that it's not in the middle. So we loop through it, checking each character in turn to see if it's a digit. So if it is a digit, we find the position of the digit. And then we, we find everything after that position is that also a digit so that's to ensure that it comes at the end because if it's in the middle so if it's a zero and then there's a an i then it's in the middle and that's going to be false and we're going to come up here and return invalid but let's say for sake of argument that's also true so then we have to make sure that the first number is not a zero so we use an and statement here to check the integer to turn um, the character, which is a string, which is inputted by the user, into a character, and just to make sure that it's not a zero. So if all that is is true, we we'll return true, so we get valid. So the number plate is valid. If anything here is, um, if anything within the statement is false, then we are going to return false, and we're going to get an output of invalid. And we'll submit it to CS50 for testing. So we'll copy that and we'll paste it in here. Okay, as we see, everything is valid. This one here now, for instance, this is where this comes into play is alpha. So is it all letters? As you see here, it's all letters. So if that line wasn't there, for instance, then that would be false. Or that'd be invalid and we'd fail on that one. So thanks for joining me and hopefully I will see you in the next video.